Welcome back. In New York, candidates are already lining up for the congressional seat once held by George Santos. He was expelled from the House Friday after a scathing ethics report. Other lawmakers, though, are leaving on their own. CBS's Scott McFarlane explains why. From headlocks. Is there anything you can tell us about the schedule or what happens next? Or to gridlock. We are in a very bad position as a party. To a 15-round House Speaker deadlock. A speaker has not been elected. And ouster. The House is sort of a mess. Congress this year has repeatedly departed from its norms. Now, dozens of its members are about to depart. Is there enough civility here now? Uh, no, it's not gotten better. Nearly 40 members of the Senate and House have announced their retirements, including a former presidential candidate. While others, including the former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, are mulling doing the same. In some cases, the recent dysfunction became just too much. It's in a sad place. And I hope that changes, but I, I think it's going to take a while. Nearly half of the U.S. House has served about five years or less and now is losing some more of its Jordan. institutional memory, including Oregon's Earl Blumenauer, leaving after 27 years, and California's Anna Eshoo, who served since the start of the Clinton administration and has passed more than 60 bills. Do I worry about the state that the House of Representatives is in? I certainly do. So many constituents have asked me, how can you stand it? It's so polarized. It's so toxic. My response every time has been the same. That is it tough? Yes. But America is worth it. Congress will also lose a Republican military doctor. Somebody had asked me, you know, what's your favorite moment since you've been in Congress? I said, when Steve Scalise walked back onto the floor. Who helped save the life of colleague Steve Scalise, wounded in a Virginia shooting in 2017. But things are a little rough right now. Everybody can see it. America can see it. And it's a different time. I'm not going to deny that. But that doesn't mean you can't get things done. Departures are a biannual tradition in Congress. But in an untraditional year, they're continuing at an untraditional clip. Two of the retirements could impact the race for the White House. Minnesota Democrat Dean Phillips is taking on a primary challenge of President Biden. And West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin hasn't ruled out doing the same. Scott McFarland, CBS News, the Capitol.